Oh, I didn't see you there. We're just out here stretching my spine. It's your boy Jem Mint, back with another Every Omnibus So Far video. This time we're doing every Teen Titans Omnibus that has been released thus far. Teen Titans actually has a really good representation throughout the eras. You got your Silver Age Omnibus, your Bronze Age, your Copper, and your Modern. So stay tuned, we're gonna break these things down and see what they collect and what's inside. All right, guys, uh, thanks for coming back. Here we're looking at the six Teen Titans Omnibus uh, that have been released. Uh, like I said in the intro there, we got uh, your Silver Age Omnibus, Bronze Age, you got your Copper Age volumes from uh, by George Perez, and your modern uh, Jeff Johns run. So let's take a look-see on what we got going on. The Silver Age Teen Titans Omnibus uh, is part of DC's whole run of all these Gold and Silver Age, Bronze Age books. This one has a $100 uh, price tag and collects uh, Brave and the Bold 54, 60, 83, Showcase 59 and 75, Teen Titans 1 through 24, and Hawk and Dove 1 through 6. So here goes the front cover and the back. Same uh, construction as all those, all the other books in the line, except the binding on these are actually really good. So the reason why I say the binding is good is because the, uh, I guess, what do you want to call it? The spine actually lifts up, so it allows for uh, your pages to be spread out uh, as much as possible to prevent any kind of gutter loss in the uh, in the middle. So. Um, looking at the artwork, Silver Age, you have your younger team with Robin, Kid Flash. I think this is Wally West Flash, right? So very Silver Age, as you would expect. We'll have some pictures going up so you guys can see. Hawk and Dove. This is like a younger Wonder Woman. I'm not really familiar with the Silver Age team. Anyway, that's the Silver Age. Then we get the Bronze Age team, which collects Teen Titans 25 through 53, Brave and the Bold 94, 102, and 149, World's Finest 205, and Batman Family 6 and 8 through 9. This one has a $125 cover price. But as you guys all know, I get my books through in-stock trades, so usually they're like 50% off on the day of release. So this was the spine I was stretching when you guys were so rudely interrupted. So you get your, your art is upgraded a little bit. You're, you're uh, further along in the years. So you get some, some better, more defined looking art. Here goes Two-Face and a female Joker. Hmm. Well, now I'm going to have to find a picture for that. Give myself a little bookmark, you know what I mean? Nice page there. Cool. So that you moved on to the Bronze Age. Then we go to uh, the run that I think most of us are, are more are more familiar with the uh, the George Perez Teen Titans run. These three books went out of print and hit whale status. Uh, but since they, they all have been reprinted, so uh, you can get them uh, for a good price. Marv Woolman and George Perez. This is volume one, which had a seventy-five dollar uh, cover price. So this collects the first twenty issues of this run. DC Comics presents twenty-six, which is the first appearance of like Beast Boy and I think Raven, a couple of those characters. Uh, and the four issue miniseries Tales of the New Teen Titans. Well, there's the front and the back. Same kind of construction as the other two omnibus. But the binding is super tight. See, that's the problem when they don't allow it to lift up. I bet the reprint. Um, look at this, yo. See, that's what you call gutter loss. You can't even see what's in the middle right here. The new Teen Titans 2 is the first appearance of Deathstroke, so it collects that. You gotta love George Perez art. You know, I think we mostly know his work from uh, Infinity Gauntlet. 
But he's, he's done a lot of other stuff. He's, he's well known for this run. It'd be hard to read this thing, man. Artwork is dope. All right, then we got volume two. This collects uh, issues 21 through 37 and 39 through 44. Um, also has the first three annuals and a crossover Batman and the Outsiders 5. So this is where we get the Judas contract where um, Robin becomes Nightwing. That's in issue 44. Let's see, is the binding any better on this? A little bit better. It does come up a little bit more. Binding still sucks though. If anyone has the reprints, drop me in the comments. Let me know is the binding any better. Yeah, this one is better than volume one for sure. Let's take a look at the artwork in here. Old school cyborg was dope. Deathstroke stuff. Right, here goes issue Teen Titans 44. The Nightwing stuff. With pop that collar, brother. Alright, cool. So that's volume two. And the third and final volume of this run collects issues 38, uh, 45 through 50, and the original series of issues 1 through 6 of its second volume. Uh, also has issues 50 through 61 and 66 through 67 of the New Teen Titans and Secret Origins Annual 3. All of them had a cover price of 75 bucks. Which is a great price considering what all the content you're getting. Just sucks that the binding was shit. Let's see this one here. Look at, that. Look at that. You know what's a problem when it does that, right? Yep. Same as volume one. Just sticks to the bottom there. So you get a much more uh, update, much more updated art here. Still the same creative team, but starting to look more from copper to almost modern. It's probably getting into the '90s. I really want to read these, man. It looks like this would be a long ass read. Follow in the comments if you want me to do a recent reads on New Teen Titans. I never read them. All right, last but not least, you got your big boy, the Teen Titans by Jeff Johns on the bus. Uh, I always look at this when I'm trying to pick out what my next read is. You know, Jeff Johns is great. It's a modern Teen Titans book. It's big as hell. Um, this has a cover price of a buck fifty. Um, I'm not sure if this is on in stock trades or not. I think it might have been sold out. But what does this collect? Let's see. Every issue Johns wrote during his four-year run on Teen Titans, plus Beast Boy 1 through 4, Robin 146 and 147, Teen Titans slash Justice League of Superhero Special, and more. So, wow, similar construction with this black um, construction paper vibe. She's like a fucking phone book. Damn, with the same tight binding. Holy moly. Look at this thing, man. Looks good, though, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> the binding is really terrible, man.
So we'll get some of the artwork in here. Big omnibus. DC likes to do those big, thick books, man. All right, y'all. So that's every uh, Teen Titans omnibus release so far. I'm gonna try to get back into doing these videos. I know that you guys really enjoy them, and it's a good um, reference point for you guys that are trying to collect all these books. I think uh, next up I'm going to do Wonder Woman. I actually have Volume 3 by George Perez that should get in here in a couple of days. So once I get that, I'll do every Wonder Woman uh, omnibus and absolute release so far. Not sure what else I'll do. I could do like a monster one. Um, I could do an updated one for some of them. Like I think Deadpool got a few more and Wolverine got a few more. Maybe even Daredevil from the last time I did their videos. So we'll see how it goes, man. I do want to crank some more of these out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, uh, make sure to hit that like, but I do a lot of collection videos like this, uh, every omnibus that are, that have been released, but we do a lot of recent reads, we have a live show that we do weekly, um, we just did it last night, it was lit, uh, we do statue unboxing and reviews, and a bunch of other shit, man, Co uh, Comic Con coverage, what have you, so, uh, thanks for checking it out, keep it mint, peace. Peace.